It is Class Creatives. Being a Mandalorian is not just learning about how to fight. And in this video, we'll discuss how the new installment of The Mandalorian creates its 3D assets and the unique workflows the studio has created over the past several seasons. We'll discuss how the virtual sets are mixed with the practical effects from the original Star Wars franchise and how these techniques are combined to create seamless experiences to the viewer. Mandalorian's latest trailer has the show looking better than ever visually, and we can only wonder what new special effects and technology can be waiting for us in the new chapter. In this video, we'll discuss how these award-winning animations were made with Maya Autodesk, both keyframe and with motion capture. How live-action actors are combined with LED screens, physical sets, puppets, and the Unreal Engine combining multiple workflows in a revolutionary state-of-the-art production process. There's a lot to uncover, and there's some really exciting content to discuss on how this amazing show is created with today's modern tools and ILM state-of-the-art workflows. This is the way. Unreal Engine is utilized for the design phase for Previs, as well as Game Engine real-time render technology production workflows in the show. Unreal Engine worked directly with the ILM team to give them the tool sets necessary with this unique filming setup. Moving a mountain, scaling the mountain, adjusting a camera, or backdrop could all be done instantly in real time. Houdini, 3ds Max, Maya are the core software tools to develop the 3D Photoreal virtual assets. Controlling sets and environments were controlled through an iPad. Any adjustments could be saved so production could return to the shot setting at any time needed in seconds, exactly the way it was. Quick pause to tell you a little bit about Class Creatives. They offer a top-ranked game design curriculum online. All courses are taught by industry veterans with experience from studios such as Disney, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, Google, and more. Character animation fundamentals emphasize the value of video references to bring characters to life following methods used to create Mandalorian's animation utilizing Autodesk Maya and the Unreal Engine. The full AAA character design and animation workflow is explained in detail from start to finish in their masterclass courses. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. Get started today for free with the link in the description. I have spoken. Mandalorian combines traditional methodologies with ever advancing new technologies. Practical creature effects have been an important part of the aesthetic appearance of the original Star Wars universe since the beginning, which is directly applied to the Mandalorian television franchise to maintain the aesthetic appeal. Hundreds of puppets, droids, and animatronic masks were used to create believable characters. The Bantha was a 10-foot puppeteered rideable animal. The Crate Dragon was a full 3D created asset that utilized a liquefaction effect to achieve how the sand behaved as water. This required complex particle simulations anytime the creature would emerge above the sand. The digital sprayed acid also required digital doubles for the Tuscan actors who took damage from the sprayed venom. Many shots were required to be full CG to achieve the correct scale and scope to the battle. A 5 foot miniature of an Imperial light cruiser was built to keep the design aesthetic of the original movies. A custom motion control rig was also created for the movement. Interiors were also built digitally including the TIE fighters. For Grogu, 3D assets were created around the puppet's motion limitations. Since the character was to be primarily a physical, interactive character for the actor, 3D shots needed to match up perfectly with the live-action puppet. Limiting the character's motions and CG were directly determined by the range of movements that the puppet had on set, so that the virtual character could seamlessly be inserted for shots not possible with the live-action puppet. Spit that out. For complex scenes like the Lava Canyons and Navarro, all cameras, vehicle, and character motions required keyframe animation as movements took place over several miles of virtual canyons. Several chase sequences were animated throughout the CG created environments and assets. Aerial sequences also required 3D volumetric particle cloud scenes to be built allowing animators to create a climactic encounter with the TIE Fighter. With complex vehicle sequences, full CG is still the go-to production method in the series. Production designers will create the concept art, which is then created in a virtual art department. This allows for locations to be created as digital assets. Scenes are blocked out in VR since all the worlds are virtual. This saves a lot of time and money compared to the real world assets that would need to be built and planned the old fashioned way. This allows directors to make decisions before post-production, creating a much more efficient workflow. 
It also allowed directors and designers to work virtually as one could be in LA and the other in Austin as they check out environments and sets together prior to shooting. The junkyard set extension was created with a practical miniature model which was then scanned as a 3D scene and then brought into the real-time engine with LED screens. Once the set was displayed on the wall, color corrections controlled through the real-time engine blended with the LED content with the practical set. This is an example of how multiple techniques were combined to create a seamless experience to the viewer. Walkers were achieved through stop-motion animation, bringing back some of the aesthetic appeal of the original movies. Instead of having a film set with green screen and having the world put in later in post-production, the entire set was done in real time with an LED backdrop set. Stagecraft was created by Industrial Light and Magic to capture in-camera real-time visual effects and background plates on an LED volume. Stagecraft is ILM's virtual production toolkit. It's an end-to-end -end solution that begins with early stages of previs, working with the art department to motion capture, working with live pixels on set with a live LED wall. It gives the ability to go from one significant location to another large location without doing a unit move, saving an immense amount of time and budget. This allows for very quick turnaround times that television production requires. This allows the DP, the director of photography, to see everything visually as they happen in real time on set. Features included in Stagecraft were directly tied to requests from the filmmakers themselves. The lighting from LEDs on the actors allow for much more accurate environments as actions happen versus blue screens with artificial lighting that look much less natural. High resolution LEDs are on the walls as well as the ceiling. This means that the light that is hitting the actors is natural light. Sets are often kept very minimal as the environments and lighting are all created digitally. Another advantage to this process is that it allows for digital assets and characters to be in the distance and camera that normally would not be possible with traditional extras on set. Trees can be moved based on what the director sees through the camera on day of the shoot. Another great advantage is for natural lighting in complex situations, such as water reflections, which again cuts down production time, which allows for the show to remain extremely high in quality. This allows for everything to be in camera real time, enhancing the production quality of the show to be even more believable. This new process is great for filmmakers who work organically. They can now have magic hour 24 hours a day. Pick up shots that might need to be fixed can be done anytime without having to go back to the actual location. Over half of the production is shot on LED screens. Even though sets have not been built, they are built virtually, and actors are physically there allowing them to feel like they are walking through the space. ILM created specific software, Helios, for the LED stage technology and hardware to make the production even more seamless in the second and third seasons of the show. This allows for production to not rely on third-party updates for their production needs and can create solutions on the fly in weeks. Instead of moving the camera for shots, directors could simply change the background to alter the shot. Visual effects are now becoming real-time versus everything being done in post. This has created a much more efficient workflow drawing pre-production, post-production, and production into one continuous pipeline. This allows everyone to see exactly the same vision in real time since the camera and shots can all be seen together. Mixing all workflows together allowed the crew to create miniatures, fly a drone for backdrops, and create 3D assets all on the fly and combine them on set to see virtually with the actors for the stage shoot. If a director is unsure about a background, they simply put a blue or green screen behind the actor and they have a perfect key with interactive lighting and could change the background later. Production is extremely efficient in this process where they can cover 30 to 50 pages of script a day. Sets were designed around the technology which gave the shots an even more enhanced look. For complex interiors of ships, animated content was displayed on the LED screens. The benefit was to not only photograph the set extension, but also provide a seamless blend between the practical and the virtual. This provided real-time lighting and reflections on the characters as the wall of the ship would rotate around in the shot. Blue screen shots in the back of LA were utilized as well as a fully generated 3D jungle environment taking place on an 8-mile stretch of road. The entire backdrop of the chase was completely digital. This allowed the shot to take place without having to travel to a location. What are we? What do we stand for? That about wraps up this video on how the Mandalorian seasons utilize Autodesk Maya, Unreal, and other state-of-the-art tools and workflows to create a breakthrough television series in incredibly quick production turnaround timeframes. There's been updates and improvements to this production workflow each season, and the tool sets are even applied to other Star Wars television installments. 
It will be very exciting to see what new technology and production techniques are in store for the next chapter. We hope this video was informative on the development process of the franchise over time, how it has evolved, and how these amazing masterpieces are created. The newest entry in the series looks better than ever. Will you be watching on release day? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Hang on, kid. This is the way. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect.